You're watching Cricket World TV. It's been another eventful 24 hours for Pakistan. On the field, they've struggled against Sri Lanka in Gaul, but events elsewhere may well come to overshadow those events on the pitch. Late last year, Salman Butt was sentenced to 30 months in prison for his part in a spot-fixing plot, but he's been released after just seven months. Warmly received back home, he's protested his innocence, announced his intention to clear his name and resume his career. Given that his five-year ban from playing remains in place, it is difficult to see how he can ever play for his country again. Back in England, Danish Canaria has been found guilty by the ECB of two breaches of its anti-corruption code. A three-man concluded, and I quote, We regard Danish Canaria as a grave danger to the game of cricket, and we must take every action to protect our game from his corrupt activities. To that end, he's been handed a lifetime ban by the ECB, which may well be enforced globally, although we do expect him to appeal. And talking of bans, Ms. Borel Hack's one test ban for over eight offences handed an opportunity for Mohamed Hafiz to captain the national side in a test match for the first time, but it didn't quite go to plan. Sri Lanka closed on 300 for two, Tilakarani Dilshan and Kumar Sangakkara scoring centuries.